The alarm went off at 5 a.m. this morning. Grant, where are we headed? To the airport. We have a very exciting day today. It's going to be a first time experience for Grant and I. We are going on a private jet this morning. I could not be more excited. This is like a dream come true. Um, and we are headed to tour a Bex seat facility. So come along with us. So we are here in Indianapolis, Indiana, and we are at the Beck Seed Corn Facility. And uh, I guess they grow more than corn. They do seed soybeans as well, but they're going to be taking us on a tour today. And so I'm going to be taking you guys along with Grant and I as we do it. Um, so we're gonna start off on, I guess, the research facility. Um, I'm excited to, uh, to see what they have to offer us. Bex is a family owned seed company. Um, they have five generations of Bex family members working here, which I think is really cool. Um, and half of the seed crops that they produce is grown on their own land, like family lands. They're farmers just like us, and I think that's really cool. Um, not to say finally, but finally some equipment. Um, I'm not used to sitting in big conference rooms or listening to lectures outside of college. So we're in, a, we're in a shop and we're with combines that are much smaller than we're used to. Um, but these are what they use to harvest their test plots. And it's so interesting. They have um, designs so that they can harvest um, multiple test plots at a time and the combine can keep it separate. It's really, really cool. This feels more like home though. Never harvested with a new Holland combine before. Might have to try it out sometime. This is a test plot planter. Um, it looks a lot different than the planter we, we hook up to the back of our tractor. And they use it so they can plant um, very specific sets of rows each at a time. And people would just ride up there. Uh, it's really cool, look at this. Here's the tractor they pull it with. Just, yeah, a real small tractor. It's just really interesting to see stuff that's way different from stuff that we use on the farm. But this is the stuff that goes into the development of the seed that can be planted. Look at this little soybean head. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Okay, now we're into the part of the tour that I'm really excited about. We're in the greenhouse. So we get to see where they are growing all sorts of corn. Look at this, we just finished harvest, but they're doing planting and growing here in the lab. Oh, this is so cool. Absolutely ideal growing conditions in here. It's warm and nice. And in this greenhouse, they're able to keep real close track of all the corn that they're growing. They have created a perfect growing environment in here for 16 hours out of the day. And then each pot has its own irrigation and slow release nitrogen depending on the stage of growth that it's at. The paper bags are for the different trials that they're running and the trait integration that they're doing here in the greenhouse. This is 180 
day corn um, to give you some like parameters I usually plant 108 or 110 day corn um, this is not for like commercial production or anything like this this is just for fun this is 25 foot tall corn isn't that crazy okay just in a few words describe who you are like and introduce yourself what your name is and then what you like about plants okay I'm Bethany Grimmel I am the director of culture and brand experience here at Bex um, have had the honor to be at Bex for the last 13 years and um, you know I think that the best part about Bex so um, the thing that makes us the most unique is the fact that we are family owned and if you look around, you will see the family's influence all over this organization. The Beck family is very involved um, in, the, in the company today. And um, if you look at the culture of Bex, it reflects the Beck family. Mm -hmm. So um, a God-fearing, hardworking, servant-minded family um, that has instilled in the rest of us that we are here to help farmers be successful. <clears throat> So I actually I kind of felt like I was back in college for a few hours on this tour. We've spent a lot of time in discussion and learning about the advantages of Bex and honestly just kind of like it's been a very educational day. Um, it's really fun to spend time in meetings and conference rooms with a whole bunch of area like actual local farmers to me but we're just Indiana. So we get to hear from a lot of speakers and a lot of industry professionals who have a lot of experience with seed and seed selection and choosing what you plant and when and where and why. Um, and I know I have learned a lot today. It's been a really valuable experience for me. So I just wanted to say a big thank you to Bex for having me out here along with a lot of other farmers. This is a really, really cool experience, something um, that I guess a lot of people don't get to experience. And so I consider myself very fortunate and I just think it's really, really been cool. One of the things that we missed out on on the tour because of the time of year that works for me to leave the farm when farming isn't really happening is all the farming practices that Bex has. They own a lot of land because they're a family owned company and so they actually grow most of the seed corn that they sell to producers which I think is really cool. So in addition to all of the seed corn processing and sorting and seed treatment and customer service and IT and everything else that they have going on in their research labs and everything. They also have big sheds with tractors just like other farmers would, which I think is really cool. Now this is what I want to see. Overall, this experience was incredible. I will probably never get a chance to be on a private jet again in my life. And I have to say, if I could extend this opportunity to any one of you guys, I would do it in a heartbeat. This was incredible. Bex were nothing but kind and courteous and welcoming to myself and all the other farmer guests that they had with them. This isn't a video saying that I think everyone should plant Bex seed. I think as a farmer, it's important to do your research and plant products that are going to do well in your area. However, it was an incredible tour. And as you guys know, I love learning about different ag companies and overall becoming a more well-rounded person and meeting contacts and just learning about different aspects of the ag industry. And being able to bring you guys along with me as I do that is a huge perk of this job. So thank you for watching today's video. I hope you learned something because I know I did and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.